an intense thing to do. Because you don't want to screw up. Because <laughs> if the brackets don't go on right, it's like, oh no. Yeah. Okay, let me get it. You can start whenever you want. Oh, I already did. Okay. So ideally, before you do these, you really should make sure this fits. You know, because every once in a while, they've had some teeth that have come in a little bit more, and it fits a little wonky. So, just make sure everything fits fine. If it didn't, like sometimes their canine or premolars have come up a little, and then it, it doesn't fit flush, then you would just cut it into sections. You know, do maybe just two and two, or three and three, so that you could deal with it being off. And then just hold it down real firm wherever the ones that are a little bit off are. Okay. Of course, when you try it in, you gotta make sure it's real dry. There's a lot of in there, so just dry everything real good. typically always do these most times half at a time. Just cut it at the midline or you can do it in thirds or you can do it offset. You know sometimes these lower anteriors are real crowded and it doesn't make sense to cut it right at the middle. You cut it wherever it looks like you're not going to mess up your matrix. All right and then I leave the one I'm putting on on the tray so I don't mix them up at the last minute. I usually put, dispense new liquid adhesive for each arch because it tends to start to set up a little bit. So, that one. Okay. I like these little cheek retractors. Everybody does it kind of a little different. Open a little bit. Whatever works for you. So stay open. Try and just keep your tongue relaxed, okay? I'll I'll push it out of the way. Just let me push it whenever I'm moving, pushing it out of the way. Don't try and fight me. Or don't try and help me. I know you're not you're not fighting me. Okay. I think I can do this part without cotton by the tongue yet. I'm gonna put a little out here just to keep Hold your lip for me. All right, just stay open. I just dry it a little bit. We're doing more bracket two. I'm kind of counting off time in my head as I do this. 20, 30 seconds. You always want to agitate your etch on there. You just scrape it, push it against the tooth in the circular motion just to help work it into all the little tubules in the enamel. Good, so stay open. And I'll switch to my high volume. Get the bulk of it off of there. Stay open. And then I switch back to my slide ejector. Watch the letters. Okay, stay open. Keep your tongue still. Keep your tongue still. Open a little bit. Let your tongue relax. Open it. Good. Good. Just stay like that. I tend to switch this guy last because that lip will curl back in. I'm always worried I'm going to get saliva back on the front ones. Good. All right. Stay just like that. 
This one can kind of give you trouble sometimes holding up your tray as you seat it. So try and get it good and tucked under the tongue there. Okay, stay real still like that, don't swallow. Don't need much. Just right where the bracket's gonna go. Stay open. All right, stay just like that. Been loading this. You don't want you want to try and minimal, but you want to make sure you... I try and push it into the bracket. There's a little grid on those brackets, and so I try and mesh it into it. Like that. You've got to be really careful if any of these brackets didn't fully seat in the matrix. You can flick them out. Open big. Open big. Good. Okay, try and make sure they're in the right spot before I push down. There we go. Make sure that cotton stays out of your way. Good. Open big. Good. Get this out of the way. My light. Alright. And then... See. So I'm pushing the tray down from the top with my finger to make sure it's fully seated. I'm holding down the bracket in front of where I'm curing because it will start to cure too. And then I'm pushing the bracket, I'm curing down with the light. So there's three points of contact. I'm always trying to be very conscious that I'm holding. Because if anything's off, that tray's not fully seated, then your bracket's going to be messed up. And I, I tend to go 10 seconds. Are you doing okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to push a lot when I do these. I try and go 10 seconds per bracket. And then I'll come back and do another five from the incisal down. That might be a little overkill, but I just hit it with the light a couple of different directions to make sure it's setting everywhere. Alright, one more time. So kind of from the sizable down because it'll flow through the, the teeth and make sure you get the underneath the bracket. See if it works. You just grab an edge from the lingual with the cotton pliers is how I do it. I usually just start up here where it's easier. And I do this as carefully as I can. You know, if it feels like it's hung up on the bracket, I'll use my tweezers to help tease it off. Usually be that, that longer prong on the bracket that'll do that. And then once you get to here, it usually just comes right off. Good. There you go. I usually give them a gentle little push with my fingers just to make sure they all seem there. Good. Okay. Give them a little rinse after because I'm sure it tastes yucko. All right. You can close. Good. Okay. Relax for